Hello, this is Christy Green, Tech Coach for Medford Township Public Schools. In this video, I'll demonstrate creating and editing a teacher web page for our new school website platform called Edlio. In June, I copied the important information I wanted to save from my SchoolWires teacher web page into a Google Doc. If you didn't do this step, you can simply type new information into Edlio. I'll demonstrate both. As you can see, I have a paragraph, then some headings, and a link to another website. Below, I've reminded myself to add a link to Google, then a PDF for parent information, an image, and I want to make a homework page. The PDF image and homework page tutorials will be found in additional videos that I'll post later. Let's start with the paragraph of text up here. First, I'll navigate to the Edleo website. My teacher page will be located on the district site. Users should start on the website of their home school. I'll select staff links, then edit my website. Now I'm prompted to log in with my Medford Google credentials. You may need to re-enter your password. This is the dashboard for Edlio. To get started, I'll click on pages. If you're editing an already existing teacher page that you created previously, you'll find it right here. I'm starting my first page today. Just like SchoolWires, I can have as many pages as I'd like. I'll click the Add Page to get started. Right now, I want to start with a blank page. Later in this video, we'll use the Link to Another Page option. And the feature pages below will be covered in future tutorials. So I'll click Blank Page. First, I'll give this page a title. This will be the first page my students will see, so I'll call it Welcome. If I follow the arrow, I can add my first chunk of content. It's up to you how you organize your page, but Edlio separates text from PDFs, so you may need to reorganize your material a bit. Since I'm adding text, I'll select Content. Now I'm going to go back to my notes and copy and paste the first paragraph. As you can see, I managed to copy the green background from School Wires, but I don't need to worry about that now. First, I'm going to highlight this whole paragraph, Control C to copy, come back to Edlio, and Control V to paste. Now I want this to look much better before I post it, so I'm going to do Control A to select all of it, and come up here to this clear formatting button. And when I click it and click off, it looks pretty good to me. As you can see, the toolbar is familiar. Now I like to work a little bit at a time, stopping frequently to be sure my content looks good on the live side of the site. So let's first save, and then also It's still loading. There we go. And also publish. You must publish work. You must publish before your work is live on the website. Now on the live site, let's see what I have so far. If you're on a school website, you'll find the staff directory under Our School on this navigation bar. On the district site, it's right here. I'll scroll down to find my name. This is a demo account. There I am. And if I click on my name, it will bring me to my page. And it's looking pretty good so far. As you can see, my content looks great and my contact information, my email address there, uh, is already on the side. While we're here, let me point out another place you can add content. There's a space down here under the word subscribe where you can add content or images. Maybe a favorite quote or a link to an important file would fit well here. So let's add some more content. Back to my notes. As you can see, I have these headings and some text underneath. And Edlio has a great feature that helps condense long pass passages of text. I'm going to start by copying the kindergarten paragraph, just this paragraph here. 
and go back to my admin page. I'm going to add another content chunk. I'm not going to, uh, I'm just going to type Fab Lab Classroom. And as I said, you can type anything that you'd like here. I'm going to highlight it and make this a little bit larger so it appears like a, the title that I had before. Then I'm going to add another chunk. You can add as much or as little content to each chunk that you'd like. But in this one, this is where I'm going to paste my kindergarten uh, information. I'm going to do that control A to select it all and clear the formatting. But I am going to use this collapsible tool. When I click on it, I get a check mark in the box. And I'm going to call this kindergarten because that was the title I used before. And let's save this and publish it and take a look on the live site. On the live site, I am going to need to refresh my page to see my new content. There's my title, there's kindergarten. And as you can see, if I click on this arrow, it shows me the information that's under it. And when I click again, that information disappears. Now let's say I want to add a link that goes to a new website. Let's highlight these words, oh, the word Chromebooks here. And we'll use the link button. And maybe this needs to go to Google. Best practice says that the open link in should be changed to new page if the link directs the user outside of your own web page. So I'm going to do new page and click save. And yes, I do want that prefix of HTTP. Uh, now that's a link and I'm ready to go. So that could be also things that I add to my website are links within text. Now this only works if the link is going to a website. On school wires, you, we were able to link to PDFs within paragraph text like this. That's not possible on Edlio. So please make sure if you're copying and pasting a link that it actually goes to a website and not to a PDF file. Remember that section I showed you that's underneath the content area, uh, your contact information is over here as another place to add content. If I use this add button here, I can do content to add text or a link, a hyperlink to a website, maybe a photo, or this would be a good place also to put PDF uh, files that are information my students need. Let's practice this by putting some content. And my text is going to be Tuesday, every Tuesday is sharing day. I want that to be a little bit large so my students see it. So I'll change the font size to maybe 14 just so it sticks out. And I will also center my text. I bet that'll look great. I'll save again and then publish. Remember we talked about the fact you might meet, need more than one page. I'm going to use these breadcrumbs at the top to go back to my page dashboard. There I can see my welcome page. Maybe I want to add another page that I'll work on later, a blank page that's called classroom expectations. I don't need to add content at this point. I'm just going to save it and I will publish it just so you can see it. Keep in mind that if you don't publish a page, it won't be visible to anyone. So you can work on it slowly if you want to. In our case, I do want to publish just so you can see it. Again, go on back to my homepage by clicking on my name here at the top. Now I have these two. If I'd like to rearrange the order of the pages, I can click and drag here to make them in a different order. Also, I remember from my notes that I wanted to make a page that was a link right to Google, an important link I want my students to see right away. So instead of doing a blank page, I'm going to do link to another page. And this title is going to be the name of the website I'm going to. And it's going to be google.com. Again, since it's not my content, I'm going to open as a new tab and then save. Okay, let's take a look at what we have so far on the live site. Remember to see new content, you'll have to refresh your page. And when I've done that, I see a lot of new things here. I see my link to the Chromebooks that I added within my text. 
I see my every Tuesday is sharing day information under my content contact information, excuse me. And I see the new pages I've added. So here's classroom ex expectations, which obviously I need to work on later. And this is the link that goes directly to Google. So from here, back to my welcome page, I have my content and I can continue to build. If you have any questions about this or any other Edlio related questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Check out the rest of the videos about Edlio as well, which include images, PDF files, homework pages, and much, much more. I hope this video is helpful.